what's your name? Uh, Allison. And what year are you? I'm a sophomore. What's your major here? Uh, course two, so mechanical engineering. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Australia. What's your name? My name is Wolf Reidenheim. And what do you study? So I'm a graduate student in comparative media studies. And where are you from? I'm from Westchester, New York. Okay. And what year are you? So I'm a first year. So yes, this is the end of my first semester at MIT. What's your name? Uh, my name is Swoosh. And what's your major? I'm a course two, which is mechanical engineering. And what year are you? I'm a junior. And where are you from? I'm from uh, South Florida, from Palm Beach. What's your name? Andrew. And what year are you? I'm a freshman. And what's your major? I'm thinking of course two, which is mechanical engineering. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Seattle, Washington. What's your name? I'm Maya. And what are you studying here? Uh, mathematics and computer science. What year are you? I'm a sophomore. And where are you from? Philadelphia. So on a scale of 1 to 10, if you could rate your experience at MIT thus far, what would you give it? I'm going to go a 9. Yeah, it's been a pretty good experience so far. I really liked it. I mean, academically it's been challenging, but I've been very surprised with the people here. It's been like one of the most best things I've seen. I was pretty worried coming here that it'd be kind of antisocial, but it's definitely not that, and that good. was good to see. Good. Ooh, um, I would give it maybe an eight, um, because there's room to grow next semester, um, room to find more people, and have fun. Like an eight? I think I generally like it. Um, classes are hard, and obviously, and the weather's not fun for a Floridian, but besides that, I like it most of the time. I would say it's, it's a solid nine. It's been a lot of fun. Pretty solid nine and a half, yeah. Wow, that's really high. Why the half point off? Because <laughs> uh, uh, sophomore year classes are kind of tough, but yeah, I'm enjoying them, so. Awesome. How's the first semester been so far? It's been good. Um, it's, you know, I'm, I've, I'm from this coast, so the like weather change is non-existent, but the shift to MIT as a culture. Is, I came from a smaller school in undergrad, so like being at a bigger institution has been like exhilarating and exciting and uh, like just the whole community has been wonderful. Do you have a most memorable experience from your time here thus far? Ooh, um, I don't know. I'm on the rowing team and each year we go to Florida and that's like one of the times when you have like no academic stress and you really get to see some of the people that come to MIT and you're just like, whoa, people here are so cool and like they're just good times. So I think that was one of the really good opportunities I had here. On Halloween, I was standing up actually in this room on the second floor looking down and I saw, I think three people in dinosaur costumes uh, attacking an unsuspecting, uh, possibly tourist and witnessing that was wonderful. I guess the, the club that has been most impactful to my development here has been my fraternity. Um, so I'm going to be the president of the fraternity next nice. year and coming in freshman year I was not someone who was like I think enough of a leader or like outgoing enough to ever think I would be in that role mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I've been able to grow a lot. I mean the, the most memorable part is just all the people. Uh, meeting new people, they do a great job uh, at the beginning of the year with all the exploration events, all of the um, uh, re residence hall explorations, all of the, the brush for Greek life, all that stuff. It's a great opportunity to meet new people. In terms of outside of the classroom learning opportunities, are there research opportunities, study abroad, what is that like? Yeah, there's a ton of opportunities here for that. So, I mean, there's this thing called MISTI, which pretty much funds trips for you to go work overseas, which is so cool. And then there's EuroOps, which are basically just undergraduates working for professors to get some experience in a research-based industry, I guess. And that's been cool. I've done a EuroOp, which was a good experience. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think I'm just, like, I'm still adjusting, so like, I have a sense that that is incredibly possible, um, and I'm still kind of myself learning about what those opportunities are. But I have, I have this sen overwhelming sense that like there's an unlimited range of like ways that you can extend your learning. Yeah, um, I've done a few different year ops, which are the undergrad research um, positions here. Um, I also I took one class in the EAPS department, which um, we took a field trip to Bermuda for that, and that was a lot of fun. Wow. And I've had a few other, like, abroad opportunities through things like MISTI and D-Lab. Um, and yeah, I think having that sort of, like, global experience is also a really cool part of my MIT experience, at least. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do an internship this summer, but also there's, like, I've done a couple year ops, and, like, um, the club I'm doing, we're do like, just doing projects in VR outside of the class, and so, it's like, yeah, you can get out of class and do whatever, really. Mm -hmm. What makes it worth it for you to be here when classes get stressful? Um, I guess 
just thinking about uh, how an MIT education prepares me to have like a bigger impact on the world long term, um, both in terms of having that like technical uh, knowledge that you get from an MIT education and also like the soft skills that I've been able to acquire, not necessarily through classes, but also through like extracurriculars and then um, just the network of people that you get to know here. How do you like the location of MIT? It's so good. Being able to walk straight into Boston is so convenient. That's like one of the best things about it. It's being right here in the city. You can just also drive like two hours. You got hiking, skiing, snowboarding. And yeah, so it's a really good location. It's been great. I've loved exploring Cambridge and getting to know Boston so far. Um, I come from the New York area, so it's like, it's both smaller, which has been really nice to just like feel like I can learn the city and like get a sense of it uh, just in these few months while there's still being like a lot more to like learn and a lot more people and environments to discover. MIT is great. I, I love that it's so close to downtown Boston. It's like a 15 minute bike ride into the heart of North End. Um, but since we're not actually in downtown Boston, it's more of like a small town feel like you can walk out at night and you're not in a big city. You're, it's a small town, but you're so close to so much stuff. How do you meet your friends? Is there Greek life or through clubs, classes? Uh, so I think there's a few ways. So I am in a sorority, so there's a big Greek life here, which also surprised me. Definitely thought it would not have that, but it does. Um, and then there's also sports is a good way. So like I've met a lot of people through the rowing team, which is like a lot of my close friends are on that. And then I think also just like in your classes. Like, and in your dorms as well. Like, I know a lot of, some of the dorms have a lot of, like, culture in them. And so you'll have a lot of friends with the floor. Like, people on your floor. Um, so there are freshman free orientation programs. Um, and those are a really good opportunity for you to get to know a group of people really well before you get to campus. Um, and then I also met people through clubs, through um, the uh, residence hall exploration events um, during RECs. I met some uh, people there that I still hang out with. And then just through all of your activities. You meet people in classes and you see them around and then you end up being really good friends with them. What extracurriculars are you involved in? Mm, I do club volleyball and VR club. Is Greek life pretty big here? Yeah, um, I think about 50%. It might be like decreasing a little bit in recent years. So 45 to 50% of undergrads are in Greek life, um, at least for males. I think it's a similar number for females as well. Do most students live on campus here? Oh uh, yeah. For all four years? Um, I think they said it's like 70% live on campus all four years. It's like really high. Um, but there are a couple, a lot of people move to France. And as a technical institution, how prevalent are the arts and humanities here? Uh, not? Well, they're, okay, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> they're better than you would think, but like it's definitely very few people will major in it. I would say. So there's a lot of people that do enjoy it and do a minor or sometimes double major in it. And there are always like is artsy and people are around, but it's I think most people are technically focused. But there is an emphasis on it here. Like the opportunities are good. We have a good humanities program. I learned that we are second in the nation wow. on orientation for languages. So my program definitely is in the humanities, so I would say for sure. Um, I guess I'm coming from the perspective of like trying to extend my humanities study into STEM a little bit more, which is partly why I'm here. Um, I think that MIT definitely fosters like communication between the two. Um, there's always room for more collaboration, but I think that the space already exists for sure. It is pretty tech focused, um, but there's also definitely a realization and an emphasis on needing some soft skills uh, in the humanities, arts, communications, um, to make the most of your tech, no uh, technical knowledge. Uh, but it does feel a lot of times like the humanities and arts are also there to like supplement tech. Uh, they're definitely very prevalent. Everyone um, takes a HASS class, humanities, arts, and social sciences. Um, pretty much every semester. So I'm in a, a music class, I have friends in a philosophy class. Um, and so there's, there's a lot of opportunities to explore the, the arts and the literature and stuff. Yeah, definitely. I think like also the fact that we have the required house classes like really makes it, like you can't, you can't really get out of doing communities. And so it's kind of, at least for me, since I'm like currently still doing those, it's like half my day. How's the workload? Is it manageable or pretty overwhelming? Uh, it's, it's definitely hard, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, but um, it's really supportive here. You can always find an upperclassman that's willing to help or another freshman that you can work and grind and study t into the night with. Um, so it, it's hard, but there's a lot of resources. Do you find the workload to be manageable or is it pretty difficult? <laughs> you can do it right, I guess. Like, if you don't try to overload yourself as possible for it to stay manageable, but like, if you overestimate your abilities, then it gets better. 
Right. So do you like the required classes? Yeah, I enjoy them. It's like a nice break from the coding and stuff. If you could change one thing about MIT, what would it be, if anything? Um, I think some... I think there is like times when it like over like there's a lot on in one week and that stress like you'll be like cool like I don't have that much time to socialize and get that really good balance. I mean you can always make it work but there's definitely times when there's this huge academic like we have so many exams but it makes you stronger if you get at the other end so totally. not too much to change. More 24 hour access to library spaces would be a good one. Uh, the way Course 6 handles their students I think they the way who? Course 6 or computer science like treats homework. And stuff. I feel like they can be a little more understanding and like not make classes so hard. Where would I find you on a typical Friday or Saturday night? On a typical Friday or Saturday night, um, you would probably find me um, either studying or um, at my fraternity. Probably um, over at one of my friends' dorms, like playing video games or like playing bowling. You do that a lot. So do you have any piece of advice for students applying to MIT, specifically in graduate programs? I think like showing like showing a range of interests is always really valuable. And like everybody applying to MIT for the most part is gonna be an expert in something. And like obviously it's important to expose that, but also like showing that you can do a lot of different kinds of things and are able to work with different kinds of people, I think is really valuable. Okay, so if you could go back and do it all again, do you think you'd still go to MIT? Yes. Yeah. Yep, for sure. It's the only place I applied to for graduate school. It's the wow. only place I wanted to go. So that's why I'm here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And I, <laughs> the math department's really cool, so. Well, everyone, it started snowing here at MIT School of Management. That's what people have to say about MIT. Thanks for watching.